Hello friends! We are working on a Christmas DIY. I am actually skipping over Thanksgiving. We're not going to be here for Thanksgiving, so I am going to start my Christmas decorating early because I have a lot I want to do this year. Um, so this right here is going to be a gold and silver Christmas bulb um, wreath for my front door. I'll just kind of give you a quick overview of the supplies that I'm using. I grabbed this wreath um, foam which um, was from, I believe, Hobby Lobby. I think it was like $5 for it. Um, it was the larger that they had. They had a couple smaller ones. This was the larger size. Um, I also picked up four of these packs of gold and silver small bulbs that came from Dollar Tree. So they were actually really reasonable, a dollar for each um, package. Um, I've gotten those before and really like them. Um, these came from Dollar Tree as well. These are the large, like silver matte balls and then the um, bright silver balls. I got two of each. Then these came from Hobby Lobby. Um, all of Hobby Lobby's Christmas decorations are 50% off. So I think this was like $5 for this bin. And this one was like, th maybe, oh no, this one was $5 and this one was like seven, I think. Oh, maybe it was 10. Yeah, it was 10, sorry. 10 for this one, five for this one. Um, I probably won't use all of these in the wreath because I don't think I'm going to fit them. So whatever I don't use in the wreath, I will use on our Christmas tree. Um, then I picked up a couple of these floral pins. Um, I've had some floral wire and some scissors and some hot glue. So let's get started with this DIY. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to start attaching the large um, silver balls to this foam form. Um, now I have these little floral pins, which kind of look like this, and we're gonna use some floral pins for the larger decorations, and then the smaller decorations will probably hot glue into place. So for these ones, I'm actually just gonna stick these right down in to my foam. If you can see, I've kind of just stuck it right down into the foam. I'm going to do um, one on like either side. So one here, one here, one top, one bottom. So there's going to be four of these little pins in this floral foam. So I will go ahead and do that. You can just stick them right down in with your fingers. They go in really easy. You don't have to be exact. Um, it's just going to make... Um, it's going to make something to attach the wire to so that we can secure these large balls in place. Okay, so once we get all four of those little, if you can see them right there, all four of these little um, pins in place, we are going to take our wire and you don't need very much of it. I'm going to probably take maybe like six or eight inches and I'm just going to clip it and I'm going to wire it through my um, ball and then I'm going to wire it through my uh, one of the little pins and what what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna actually push that pin right down in to the foam so it's not sticking up and I'm gonna then take my wire and then just twist it so it holds that ball like right in place. Really easy, just like that. It's going to be, you know, flopping around a little bit, but it's going to be held right in place. That's okay. So we're going to do that all the way around. And I'm actually going to alternate. I'm going to do one shiny, one matte, one shiny, one matte. Okay, so I have all of my balls in place. However, as you can see, they are actually, they are falling out of the little holders that they go in. I don't know if you can see. This is like the little, um, little holder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually glue these in place and this is just a little, um, something I found out after I glue, after I put this together. So I'm gonna just put a little hot glue on that and glue it right down in to the holder. That will ensure that they don't pop out. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of these um, just to like reinforce them to that little, um, that little hook. Okay, so now that all of the balls are glued to the little hooks, they're in place, but they are wobbling around. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just stick a little bit of glue um, on the one of the sides of the balls 
and I'm gonna glue it right down to the foam. And I didn't want to rely just on the glue. That's why I put these little hooks on hooks in here because once this gets all done, it's going to be fairly weighty with all of the other bulbs on it. And I didn't think the glue was going to be that sturdy. So these little hooks are going to just ensure that these large balls are staying in place. But um, once they're you know hooked in, we'll just glue them down so that they don't bounce around. Okay. So now that our bulbs are glued down as well as strung onto the little hooks, we're gonna do the same thing with the smaller bulbs. I have a little bit smaller gold um, bulbs, which there's like a matte color and a shiny gold. And basically what we're gonna do is we are going to take our little hooks and we are going to put a little hook right through the um the ornament top but just like the other i'm gonna glue i'm gonna glue these tops into place first just so that the tops don't come off so a little bit of glue just around the edge just so i know that those tops aren't aren't gonna come off and that they're on sturdy so yeah put a little bit of glue underneath that little hook then we're gonna hook our little uh, floral pin through there and we're going to push that right down into the foam right next to I'm actually going to do like a shiny gold next to a matte silver there we go just like that and we'll do the same thing. I'll do a matte gold next to a shiny silver. Next, what I am doing is I have all of my large and medium size bulbs in place. Um, they're all clipped in, um, but they are loose. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna start gluing clusters together. So this cluster I've already glued together. So that's um, staying put. And then this cluster right here I'm gluing together. So these ones over here, what I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm actually gonna take a little glue and just glue one to the next, just so that they don't like flop around um, on the ring. So again, just finding where they connect, put a little bit of glue and hold them together until they set. Then once that's all done, we're going to take the next size down bulbs, which are these ones right here. They're a little bit bigger than these ones. And we're gonna fill in more of that empty space. So I have the large balls, the medium size, and then the next size down balls all secured into place. Um, I use little picks for all of them just to kind of fill in all of the spaces. So now I'm gonna take the small balls and I'm going to attempt to glue these into these smaller spots just to kind of make this more of a uniform looking wreath. So as you can see, I am finishing up working on my last tube of small bulbs right here. I didn't think I was gonna use them all, but I did. I definitely went through everything that I have. This is what it looks like right now. Um, and basically what I am doing is I am just gluing these small bulbs um, into little like empty spots just to kind of fill in this whole big wreath right here. And really easy, just um, taking a little bit of hot glue and just kind of putting it on the bulbs that I know the small one will touch. And then literally just sitting that one right down in the glue. Just like that. So I'm finishing up going through, just gluing in my last, um, my last package and then we'll put a hanger on it and we will put it on the front door. It looks really cute. All right, so this is what the wreath looks like right now. All of the little bulbs are being held into place pretty securely. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually gonna flip it around. I'm gonna figure out what I want my top to be. So um, I guess it really doesn't matter much. Um, thinking they all look pretty symmetrical. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it around and 
gently lay it down and then I will give you an overhead view. All right, so here it is upside down. I'm gonna take two of my little pins um, and just like a picture frame, I'm gonna stick one into one side, leave it up just slightly and another pin over here on the other side. These are what I'm gonna string my wire to hang it on my front door. So again, I'm gonna take some wire. I'm probably gonna double up the wire. Um, so let me grab that and cut it. Okay, so as you can see, I strung up some wire in between the two little um, hooks. And now I'm gonna just push these hooks right down so that they don't stick out and scratch my front door. So I'm gonna literally just push them right down into the foam. And now we've got a double wire hanger to hang on the hook that I have on my front door. Let's go hang this up and see how it looks. All right, so here it is. It looks really pretty on my front door, really elegant and simple. And most of these bulbs came from the Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby. Um, so it was very inexpensive. I've seen one similar to this at um, either, I believe it was um, Pottery Barn that was like over $100. So um, really fun, easy to make, and it makes a huge statement on my front door. Hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and stick around for more holiday DIYs. Have a great day, guys. Take care.